good afternoon everyone myself radhi and i'll be teaching you accommodation management and today is our accommodation practical so i'll we'll begin with the cleaning agents which we use in housekeeping department and to uh, clean other areas of hotel uh, so we'll study about different agents and let's begin with the agents which we use in agents and chemicals which we use in housekeeping department to clean the equipments and three of much larger organization in diversity incorporated so today we will discuss about plastic cleaning agents known by our series chemicals hello friends i am navin chinnan welcome to all on us healthy podcast plastic provides specific cleaning agents for each cleaning requirement and each cleaning agents are composed based on this alphabet r डिपार्टमेंट यूज and there are names of them which we start uh, let's start with r1 r2 r3 r4 r5 6 r7 and r9 so they are segregated in two groups which the r1 2 3 7 and 9 become uh, comes in first uh, category and r4 r5 and r6 it comes in second category uh, now let's continue with the video The remaining three chemicals, that is R4, R5, R6, are ready to use chemicals. Means we need not to add water. Let's discuss about each one of these in detail. R1 is a bathroom cleaner from sanitizer. It can be used for all surfaces in bathrooms, like. And R1 is used in bathroom, and it is known as bathroom cleaner from sanitizer. Dust, dust, floor, fitting, fixtures. For using R1, first it needs to be diluted for daily use for general. And there are some directions to use these all kind of agents because uh, there are some precautions we should take while using these uh, agents because some. agents are really hard and we have to dilute and there there is a, some uh, uh, quantity in which we have to use those agents cleaning at 50 ml of chemical in one liter of water is sanitized to keep in the area or there are some tough heavy stains then at 50 ml of chemical in one liter of water spray directly on the surface Stop if necessary for leave for five to ten seconds. Wipe the surface with clean and dry cloth. Replace. It. So there are some directions to use this R1 agent. First, we have to spray uh, the area which you want to clean, like uh, sinks, tiles, floor, uh, bathtubs. So you have to spray. Uh, the first step is to you have to spray directly on the surface which you want to be clean. Then second step is to uh scrub the uh, scrub with a scrubber or some and leave it for some time at last to get the clean outcome of from uh, this agent you have to wipe it very clean and neatly to get the surface clean so regularly for bathroom works r9 is a batch replacement of r1 for bathroom cleaning hard water condition as it is specifically formulated for hard water It is also effective for cold stain and oily or greasy surfaces. And same agent could be used if, uh, like, our uh, 
R9. It is a much stronger than R1, and it is also used to clean some old stains and greasy and oily surfaces. And it is also you. Uh, it is also used to clean the bathroom area and the sinks, bathtubs, etc. One with the water as per the state requirement. The rest cleaning process and duties are as R2. R2 is the general purpose clean from sanitizer, which I mean for quick and gentle clean of all surfaces by the cover and the And R2 is known as general purpose clean. Cleaner from sanitizer. It could be used to clean any kind of wooden area, uh, wood, wooden. Uh, Equipments, etc. Telephone styles, etc. It can also be used for wet mopping and scrubbing with a machine. For dilution at 20 ml per liter to 50 ml per liter according to the nature of soiling, as discussed in case of R1. For a small area like this, spray it small. And if there is a normal uh, area to be cleaned, or there is some. Normal oil, uh, so, uh, soiling, you could uh, you have to use uh, 20 ml of its quantity, and for heavy soiling, you have to use it of 50 ml. And this uh, R2 could uh, is used for both wet mopping and it, it's also used with machine scrubbing. Regularly, R7 is an effective floor cleaner. It can be used for wet mopping and scrubbing with machine. Dilution depends on soiling from 20 ml to 50 ml per liter water. For wet mopping, take the solution in bucket and mop. Rinse the floor frequently. Alternatively, scrub the floor using either a manual scrubber or use scrubbing machine. Later, pick up the dirty solution using a wet pack. R3. R3 is a glass cleaner which can be used for all types of glass mirrors such as windows, display cases, bathroom mirrors. Dilution depends on nature of soiling or stain. Dilution remains the same as R1 and R2 depending on soiling or 20 ml and 50 ml per liter water. For cleaning, spray a small quantity onto a soft limb. And her agent is R3, which is used to clean the glass area, and it is known as glass cleaner. And you, for a normal soiling, you have to take the 20 ml of its quantity. And for heavy soiling, 50 ml quantity is required. And for the directions to use it is spray the small uh, quantity of it on a soft or a very lint uh, fiber cloth. Or paper towel or directly on glass white surface clean. Buff with a dry cloth or paper towel. Don't forget to replace the cloth regularly. And whenever you have you are about to clean the glass area, you have to check the your towel or your uh, lint uh, fabric is clean and washed properly. R4. R4 is a police which can be used for and another one is R4, which is known as furniture polish, and it is used to polish the wooden and the furnished uh, equipments. All wooden floors and furniture, like table, chairs, wooden cabinets, springs, cupboards. Take the body well before you and then spray it on a soft dry floor. Apply to the surface only to start working. And here we have some directions to use this. A furnished polish. Firstly, we have to apply it on a soft, dry cloth and then on the surface evenly. And before using this polish, we have to shake the bottle properly. And then for, uh, to get the clean outcome of uh, from this polish of uh, the uh, furniture polish, you have to uh, buffer the surface to get the shine on the furniture. Do replace cloth regularly when you daily. Needs to be dustless clean on wooden furniture. R5. R5 is a water based air fastener. It needs to be. And here, uh, the next we have is R5, 
which is known as air freshener. Floral perfume, which deodorizes guest rooms, offices, corridors, bedrooms, closets. And it is used to uh, freshen up the environment in hotel. It is used in uh, banquets, uh, lobby areas, room, room, guest rooms to get the fresh fragrance from the air. The next is R6. It is a toilet cleaner. Before using it, plus the toilet bowl, gently squeeze the R9 bottle to direct under the drain around the bowl and onto water or flush parts. Distribute the toilet brush. Allow at least five minutes contact time. Scrub with a brush or pad to remove difficult stain. Then flush to rinse. Well, here is the summary of all chemicals discussed in the video. So here is the list of all the cleaning agents which we have seen in this video and what does this uh, cleaning agent are used to clean. You can pause the video to check these details. One of the missing agents from the series is R8, which is not a daily cleaning agent. It is a kettle distiller used for removing nine scale from all right. in contact with hot water, such as boilers, water heater, kettles, and other cooking. I hope you like the video. If you do, hit the like button and don't forget. The agents which we have. Now I'll be playing with them.